Hey traders, what if I told you that there's a secret candlestick pattern that could predict exactly when a price reversal will happen? Now, this candlestick pattern is proven to almost always show up right before a reversal occurs. And so in this video, I'm going to reveal exactly what this candlestick pattern is and how you can use it to your advantage to get massive profits. But first, be sure to leave a like in this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more high quality videos like this for free. And so, the specific candlestick pattern that I'm talking about in this video is called the pin bar. So, what is the pin bar? The pin bar is simply a candlestick pattern that follows these specific criteria. First, is that it has a relatively small body, and second, it has a relatively long wick that sticks out on one side. This is often referred to as the tail of the pin bar. Now, in some variations of the pin bar, a smaller wick can be seen sticking out on the other side. This is often referred to as the nose of the pin bar. However though, other variations may also come without a nose, which is perfectly fine. So again, the two important criteria that validates a pin bar are, first, it needs to have a relatively small body, and second, it needs to have a long wick that sticks out on one side. Now the question is, why does the appearance of a pin bar mean that a price reversal will happen? And so, the logic behind it, is that it is simply a candlestick pattern that signals rejection. Let me visualize this for you. So, in this example, we spotted a strong upwards momentum, as buyers pushed the price all the way up, towards the highest point of this candle. But then, before the candle manages to close, sellers started coming in and pushed the price back down, rejecting that previous upwards momentum. So as you can see, that rejection by the sellers, caused this candle to have a small body and a long wick that sticks out, which as we know, is called a pin bar. And this is the reason why a pin bar is generally regarded as an early sign of a market reversal, because it shows us that the momentum has shifted towards the opposite direction. And as you can see, immediately after that pin bar appeared, the trend reversed towards the downside. But bear in mind, even though a pin bar signals a reversal, it does not guarantee one. Remember that in trading, a perfect strategy does not exist, there will always be risk of failure, which is why, every time you take a trade, make sure to always keep your risk management in check so that you don't blow up your account. Now let's move on. So, there are two types of pin bar patterns that exist. The bullish pin bar, and the bearish pin bar. So, a bullish pin bar shows us that the price is likely going to reverse upwards, while the bearish pin bar shows us that the price is likely going to reverse downwards. Now, the way you differentiate between a bullish and a bearish pin bar, is by looking at the position of the tail itself. If the tail is below the candle, then it will always be a bullish pin bar. And if the tail is above the candle, then it will always be a bearish pin bar. So, a common mistake that I see most traders make, is that they focus on the color of the pin bar instead. Remember, the color of the pin bar does not determine if it is bullish or bearish. A bullish pin bar can be either green or red, and a bearish pin bar can also be either green or red. The only thing that differentiates between the two, is the position of the tail itself. Now the reason for this, is because the tail represents the direction of where the rejection came from. So, if the tail is sticking out from the bottom, it shows us that the rejection came from below. Again, this happens because we have sellers that pushed the price all the way down, before buyers stepped in, rejected it, and pushed the price all the way back up before the candle closes. Which is why, even if this is a red candle, it is still considered as a bullish pin bar, because the tail sticking out from the bottom, means that the momentum is going upwards. Similarly, if the tail is sticking out from the top, it means that the rejection came from above, and that the momentum is going downwards. Which is why, even though this is a green candle, it is still considered as a bearish pin bar. Now moving on. How to take trades using the pin bar. So first, 
A common mistake that traders make when trading using the pin bar strategy is that they immediately assume that a reversal will take place just because a pin bar pattern appears. Remember, markets don't just automatically reverse just because of a single candlestick, there needs to be other supporting factors at play. And to explain this, I'm going to show you two very different pin bar setups. So, let's first look at setup number one. In this chart, we can see that the price was moving downwards before a bullish pin bar appeared. Now, the appearance of a bullish pin bar usually means that the price will reverse upwards. However, in this particular example, instead of reversing upwards, the price continued moving downwards instead. Which means in this setup, the market did not react to the pin bar at all. Now, let's compare that to setup number two. So in this setup, we can see that the price also went down, also formed a bullish pin bar, but this time, the market reacts to it and actually reversed upwards. So the question is, what makes setup number one different from setup number two? Even though both of them had bullish pin bars, why did one form a reversal, but the other one didn't? Well, it's because of the difference in trade quality. Setup number one is what I call a low quality pin bar setup, and setup number two is what I call a high quality pin bar setup, and let me explain why this is. So the reason I refer to setup number one as a low quality setup is because the pin bar was formed by itself, there weren't any other supporting factors, meaning that markets will have lesser chance of actually forming a reversal because a single candlestick pattern alone is not a strong enough signal. But remember, the key word here is lesser chance, a reversal can still happen, but the chances of it is lower. Now, let's compare that with setup number two. So, the reason why I refer to this as a high quality setup is because if you notice, the pin bar was formed while the price was at a key support level down here, because in the past, price had rejected this level before, meaning it'll have a higher chance of rejecting it again in the future. So now, instead of just a pin bar pattern, we also have other supporting factors at play that could trigger a reversal. In this case, the pin bar was formed while at a support level, which means the chance of a reversal happening will be higher. And so, high quality setups like this is what we want to look for in a trade. Now I'm going to show you a simple trick on how you can easily spot these high quality setups every time. So the first step is you want to find a key level. Let's look at one example. Over to the left, we can see that price went up and reverses back down, making this a level of resistance. Next, as price approaches the level of resistance, we can see a bearish pin bar candle. Again, this is a bearish pin bar because the tail is sticking out on top of the candle. So, at first buyers pushed the price all the way up, before sellers stepped in and pushed the price back down before the candle closes, indicating that there's a strong rejection from above as price touches this level, which is why the tail is sticking out from the top. And so, there are now three things that's currently happening. First, we can see that price have rejected this key level in the past before, meaning it is likely to do it again in the future. Second, we can see that the price is currently touching the resistance level. And third, we have a bearish pin bar candle that formed, signaling that there's downwards momentum because the rejection came from the top. So all these factors at play made it a good opportunity to enter a short position here. Now for your risk management. You can set a stop loss at the end of the tail and profit target at three times your stop loss. And as you can see, we made a nice profit off of this downwards reversal. Let's look at another example. Again, the first step is finding a key level. So, let's analyze this chart. Here we can see that prices went up, rejects this level, and moved downwards, making this a level of resistance. Next, we can see that the price went up and broke the previous resistance level, which means this level now becomes a support level. Then, we saw that the price went down towards that support level and formed a bullish pin bar, because again, the candle has a small body and a tail is sticking out to the bottom, meaning that the rejection came from below. Next, if you look closely, we can actually spot another key level down here, an upwards trend line as price also rejected this level multiple times in the past. 
Which means, we now have a point where two key levels intersect each other. First is the resistance level that turns support, and second is the upwards trend line. This point is what's called a level of confluence. If a price is at a level of confluence, it usually means that it has a much higher chance of reacting to that level. So now, we have multiple signals that show us that the price will likely reverse from this level. First, is that the price is at a level of confluence, and second, we have a bullish pin bar that formed, while the price was at that level of confluence. So based on these multiple factors, we can confidently take a long position here. Now for your risk management. You can set your stop loss at the wick's end, and profit target at 2 to 3 times your stop loss. And as you can see, we easily profited off of this upwards reversal. But keep in mind, these setups aren't magic, a trade can still fail even if it's a high quality setup. Remember, trading is all about probability, nothing is ever guaranteed, so never go all in on one single trade and always use proper risk management just like the one that I taught. Now let's look at more examples of these high quality setups. So to summarize, the pin bar pattern is a really effective trading strategy to master because it helps you identify where a rejection is on the market. And again, don't ever trade the pin bar alone. Always use other confirmation methods like support and resistance to further increase the win rate of your setups. And as always, if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button right now for more high quality videos like this one. It only takes two seconds, but it means so much to me. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.